let's listen in to what finance minister mr p chidambaram had to say earlier this morning on the stability of the upa government of course before the samajwadi party headache emerged for the upa it was decided to formulate amendments to the draft resolution before the unhrc it was also decided to consult political parties on bringing a resolution to be adopted by parliament even as the meeting was under way the media reported that shri m karunanidhi had announced that the dmk would withdraw its ministers from the government and would withdraw support to the upa he also stated that if parliament adopted a resolution before the end of the current sittings the dmk would reconsider its decision we are not aware of the reasons why the dmk changed its position between the night of 18th march and the morning of 19th march well in the press conference mr kamalnath has said very categorically that they are neither lame nor duck but the fact remains that here is a government which has seen the withdrawal of the tmc in last 6 months they have seen the withdrawal of mr babul armarandi they have seen the withdrawal of mr ovc and now they have seen a complete withdrawal of the dmk they are surviving on the support of the samajwadi party with 22 seats and they are surviving the support with the support of the bsp with 21 seats the bharatiya janata party would like to know what instructions have gone to the cbi now the bharatiya janata party would As for the decision taken by Dr. Kalyan Karna and the Honorable Leader of the DMK Party, we have handed over the decision letter to the Honorable Prime Minister. Three of the, uh, the resignations have already been have been handed over. Another two are already and now uh, the Napoleon will be extended to uh, the uh, Prime Minister's office.